Hello and welcome back to Marine Max Georgia. My name is Quinn Seagraves and today we're going to be on one of my favorite boats. This is the Sea Ray 320 Sundancer. It is a very versatile boat that really combines three boats. It gives you a bow rider, um, it gives you plenty of outdoor space like a pontoon would, and then it also gives you a cabin down below. So really three boats in one to make it a very versatile boat. Very user friendly too. Back here in the back we have a nice panel with access to all of your electrical and water and then to power the boat up, just press the on switch. If you move across, you'll have tons of storage back here in the back for life jackets, tubes, and just anything that you're gonna use while in the water. Uh, gives you a nice little floating area. And then a nice sun pad. It's very nice to also be able to open this up little more size to it or in this case where the sun's coming in you can lounge facing the side off the side of the boat to get to all the views while on the lake if you move in we have tons of amenities we'll have a sheer shade that will extend out it is on a manual uh, button so press of a button you can automatically deploy your shade ton of other things on this boat over here is your entertainment station You'll have your grill, nice Kenyan electric grill with some instructions on how to use it. You'll have your fridge up underneath, nice trash can, sink, and some outlets. That way, if you had anything that you wanted to make some special drinks on board, you could use this station here. Next to that is the AC and heat unit for outside. So when the boat is in, I call it the winter mode, you can have an Isinglass or a package that closes off this whole interior cockpit from the elements and with that on you can then heat and cool the outside as well as the interior of this boat on board we will have dual sim rads that will control right now we have it set up in the motor configurations which aren't on so it will not show many data points you can access quickly to the maps to give you what the lake looks like. You'll have the dual throttles on board, so you will have twin 350 Seacore motors. So this boat will be equipped to be able to take salt water and have some other options. And then a nice joystick, so when we're coming back in to dock the boat, anybody can do this, it's super easy. To move the boat sideways, I can press on the joystick and the whole boat will just move sideways. I can twist the boat to maneuver I can push it forward and then have some nice little auto anchor systems if I wanted to use the motors to stay in a position while I change some dock lines at the dock or other little amenities. I'll have a nice sunroof as well. Uh, you can open this up. We'll go to the bow and then come back to the cabin, but this will be the door to access the cabin. Up here in the bow, you will have two steps, but it's still a nice sunken bow. You'll have a little grab rail to hold on to, and then up front you have a nice sun pad for three people. You'll have radio controls, USBs, access to your anchor locker, and a nice little spotlight all up here in the bow. The boat does have a second cover for up here in this front section. If you are out on the water but just don't want the sun on the vinyl, you can install that and keep the bow looking nice and clean. Last but not least on board is our cabin. As you come out into the boat, you'll have a nice sitting area with a table. You can raise the table if you want or keep it down in this position. Gives you a cover to use this front area as a bed. You have your TV up here, breaker panel, air conditioning. Next to it is the head. So this will give you all of the components of the boat. Down underneath, you will also have a, another sleeping area. This can convert into the bed you see now. Or removing that center piece, you can move it over and have two twin beds if you wanted to either use that as the master suite or use that for two separate areas. Nice microwave and fridge on board. Plenty of natural light down here with your glass and some portholes. This boat is a wonderful boat here for Lake Lanier and very popular. You'll see a lot of them out here because of the 
good size, all the amenities you can get. Um, but if you have any more questions, my name is Quinn. Would love to uh, set up a call and go over this boat a little bit more.